everybody welcome back to another random Sam epic mom and it is day 92 of our 100 day challenge so we're getting there guys we're almost done we are 13 weeks down uh didn't record yesterday sorry about that we had an emergency dentist appointment and then we had just running around with kids but what we've been doing besides you know nature walks and such like that as we enjoy the end of summer uh, what we've been doing both yesterday, today, and we're going to be doing some more tomorrow is that for most of you parents, your kids are already in school. Lucky you. My kids start back up at school in, um, just a few days on Wednesday, they go back. So we're still going to be doing a couple extra days of summer to get to our hundred. But one of the things that we do the week before school starts, try and get everybody back into a regular routine of when to go to bed, when to get up. Things like that. But something else a lot of people forget about during the summer chaos is checking your pantry. Do you have, if your kids do uh, home lunches instead of school lunches, uh, make sure that their uh, lunch boxes are still good. Believe it or not, there have been years when my kids will have left food in there from May. And it is gross and disgusting. So because of that, we have gotten in the habit of checking. But during the summer, a lot of things can happen. Things can get ripped. Things can get lost. It happens. So one of the things that we've been doing this weekend is, even though we've already gotten their backpacks ready, we're double-checking backpacks. We're making sure lunch bags are ready. We're making sure that we have enough juices to send to school, fresh fruits. Uh, make sure sandwich bags, because... I swear I'll run out of them and not even know about it until I need to do them that day. Another thing that we're doing is getting the bags ready for the first week of school of uh, chip bags for each day. So there's all the little things that you can do while prepping for school. And it's also a good thing because it'll help you get into the habit of uh, Sunday nights. You know, what do you need to do to get ready? Monday mornings, what's something always good to have prepared? Getting the kids back into the routine. Hey, if you need to pick out an outfit the day before, great. There's lots of little things that all of us can do to make our days easier. And as parents, a lot of times we focus so much on making sure the kids are ready, the kids are set up. And it's kind of tough because we've got to set not only a good example, but we've also got to manage them. So I always use this week before school to try and get a better mindset for me. Um, that first week, you guys, if you've already got kids in school, you understand, but that first week of school, if it can happen, it's going to happen, whether it's new shoes getting ripped up, losing the backpack in the house, not being sure where that outfit that they want for the first day of school went, it can all happen. So I always tell myself that first week of school is just chaos. You're just going to have chaos and you're just going to want to get things back uh, rolling right. And the second week of school is when I start trying to redo my routine. Focus on what I can get done while they're in school. So again, uh, this is the weekend before school starts up for me. So again, prepping, stuff like that. And I kind of... <laughs> I mean, I'm making my kids make sure all their rooms are cleaned up. We're trying to make sure all dirty laundry is getting done this weekend so that we can start school with a little bit cleaner slate. I hope you guys who already have kids in school are having a good weekend. And those getting ready to send their kids to school, I hope you're ready for it. Because I'm not. <laughs> I never am. But guys, that is day 92. And that's pretty awesome. Catch you guys later. Bye.